Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beautiful colorful seed beads earrings that are Native American style. With my step by step instructions I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them even if you are a beginner. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell for more similar absolutely free tutorials. You could also check the description for full list of materials, other useful resources, Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. A lot of work goes here in these videos so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. So without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are seven colors of 11 ounce seed beads and they are black, white, light green, green, light pink, pink and red one. Here I'm using earring findings, these are liver bags, this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters, you could use other beading thread of your choice. I'm using size 10 beading needle, you could use size 11 or 12 if you want this to be easier and by the way all the materials are shared down there in description with other useful resources and with a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me because a lot of work goes in these videos. I share their PayPal link for donations and the membership link and the last one comes with perks that you could also check out. Sorry for this interruption, these are, these are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to do first is to pick up 8 of those beautiful white beads. Okay, and now I have my eight on my needle and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my work. And here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then what I want to do is one more knot just to be sure that it's all tight and secure and then I'm going through some beads in this direction okay now I have this okay guys and I have this beautiful circle of eight beads here and now I'm going to take the next sequence it is white, light green, black, light green and a white. And as I'm exiting here guys, after this bead, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay, this is what I do. I exit out of this one and I go in this one. So now I have this, okay, and here I have a white, a green, a black, a light green and a white again, it is the same sequence that I took. And again I skip one and I go through the following. I'm trying to show you better in the beginning because sometimes you say I hide it with my fingers and you don't see. Okay, and I take the same sequence, skip one and go through the following. And again, And again I skip one and go through the following and this following is the first one where I started this row from. 
and it is also the last one that I finish with. Okay, now I have this. What I want to do next, guys, is go through this white and through this green bead, through this light green bead. And I'm going to pick up a light green, a dark green, a black, a dark green and a light green. Okay, this is the sequence. And as I'm exiting here from this light green next to the black, I'm going in the next light green, which is after the black. And I pull and I have this. Then I need a dark pink, a red and a dark pink. You see what I have here. And I go in the next light green. Okay, then the same sequence that I took, light green, dark green, black, dark green, light green. Go in the light green. You could always pause and pick up what I took. Okay, then dark pink, red and a dark pink. And go here in the green. As I'm exiting through one of the light greens, I'm going in the other one. Okay, then I take absolutely the same sequence as before. Go in the light green here. And then again, this sequence of three. Go in the green one. Again, the sequence of five. Okay, and here pay attention where I go at the first light green bead. Don't make the mistake to go through the second or third beads. In the beginning I was doing this mistake and was wondering what went wrong. Now I have this and don't worry that it bends a little bit. In my next step guys, I want to go here through the next two green beads, the light green and the dark green. Okay, I go just like this. Then I want to go through the black and through the following green. Here I take two greens and one dark pink bead and I go here in the red one. Okay. Then I take the other way around one pink and two green beads and I go here. I want my green beads to be from the side where the greens are and the pink to be from the side when the, where the pink and the reds are. So if I exit here out of a pink from the other side, you see, I will take two greens and one pink. Okay and go here in the red one. Then I will take one pink and two greens the other way around and I'm going here. Okay, and I'm gonna be doing this until the end of this row. Now I'm exiting here at the green one. Then as I'm exiting here guys, what I need to pick up are a black, a light pink and a black. And as I'm exiting through this green bead next to the black, I'm going in the following green, which is after the black. And I have this. 
then I will go in the next two green beads just like this I take three green beads and I go in the following three just like this okay you see what I have then a black a light pink and a black and go through the next three beads just to save time just like this then three greens go here and I will continue the same way until the end of this row Okay guys, now I have this. Okay, then in my next step, what I want to do is add additional pink and black beads. So I go here at this pink bead, take two pinks and one black and go here through the third green bead counting from the angle okay now i have this then i'm going through all of those beads and i exit here you see where two beads away this this bit is one bit away from the angle here so i'm exiting out of the third green bead counting from here this is the third one and i need a black and two pink beads and i'm going here just like this again two pink beads and a black one then I go here through the third green counting from here and I exit here two beads away from the angle and I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row now guys what I want to do is go through the next two pink beads and I'm exiting here at the end of my pink beads and I'm going to take the following sequence that I'm going to be taking until the end of this row a light pink three dark pinks three white pinks three dark pinks and one light pink okay and i'm going here in the central bead that is sticking out the most okay and don't worry that it bends like this at this stage we'll fix it later okay then i take the same sequence and i go here in the first of those five pink beads that I have in a row now I have this okay this is the next sequence as I'm exiting here I will skip all of those beads and go in the last pink so first and last pink here okay the same sequence
Okay, the same sequence and I go here in the first pink. And I will continue guys until the end of this row adding the same sequence going through the first pink and through the last and then here at this one that's sticking out the most and then first last sticky outy first last and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last sequence and I'm going through this pink. Don't make the mistake to go through this pink because this is a pink from my next loop. And this is the last pink of the five that I had in my previous row. So when you add the last one, pay attention. Okay, now I have this. Then in my next step, guys, what I want to do. Is go through all of those four beads here that I have a light pink and three dark pink beads and I'm picking up a dark pink a red and a white and I go here in the middle white one and I pull at first it won't look good but after a few steps you will see everything will go into place now I will take the same sequence but the other way around. First the white, then the red and then the pink. And I go here in the pink. Again the white goes towards the white and the darker colors go towards the edges. Then I'm going to take just one black and I'm going here in the last pink bead. Okay, here I am in the last pink. Now I'm going to pick up a pink, a red and a white and I go here in the center, the central white. Then a white, a red and a pink. It is the same sequence but the other way around. And I go here in the first pink. This is what I have now. Then I need a black one. And I go here in the last pink. Or the pink that is closest to the white beads. First or last it depends where you count it from. Again dark pink, red, white. Go in the central white white red dark pink go in the first dark pink a black one go here in this third pink of your next loop of beads a pink a red a white go in the center a white, a red, a pink, go in the first pink that's on your way. Okay, now I will continue this until the end and I want you to pay attention that you should flip these loops like this because if you flip them like this and go through the pink it won't look good. So flip them in the right direction when you go through the third pink here. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here. And I take another black bead and I'm going here in the same place. Through the third pink bead counting from the center. Okay. In my next step, what I want to do is go through these two beads, the dark pink and the red one. And I'm taking five of those beautiful red beads, five of those. And as I'm exiting from this red, I'm going here in the other red one. Then I take a black bead, my earring finding and a black bead. This is what I take. 
and I go in the next red. Okay, I have it here attached. Then again, I take five red beads, go in the next red one, just like this. And I'm going to take just one black and go in the red. Five red beads, go in the red. One black bead, go in the red. Five red beads go in the red. Then, guys, I will continue absolutely the same thing. One black and five reds and it's really easy and I'll meet you here at this side. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm just adding my last black bead from this row. And by the way, you could go around the edges to reinforce your work one more time if you want but I will find a place to make a knot for sure I want to go first to this part where my earring finding is to reinforce it okay then I want to go here at the edge And I'm going to make a loop and I'm going once and I'm also going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started the knot from and I could repeat this knot several more times. When I'm ready I just take my scissors and cut my thread okay guys and now my native american style seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials absolutely free and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. You could also check description for useful resources like similar videos, full list of materials. Also, you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with great perks that you could check also in description. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.